Hello there, this is fairbinaryoptions.com and I'm looking at the Australian dollar and Canadian dollar here in a move that seems to be a rising wedge or in a move that seems to be a terminal impulsive move. So, fairbinaryoptions.com I am, uh, let's say, um, insisting on the downside on the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, even if market goes and makes a new high. Now it is important to categorize uh, the pattern that we have, the whole pattern that started from the left side here. And I would say it is, uh, it is a flat that already has waves A and B completed. Wave A to the downside is a three-way structure. It goes with A, B, C. So a three-way structure. This would be wave A. Let's make it of um, a bigger degree. Let's make it uh, 24 and leave it in black. So this to be wave A in the form of a flat. So a corrective, uh, a corrective wave. Then the move to the upside, the whole move to the upside needs to be a B wave. Now this move to the upside, a B wave. Now this move to the upside has um, three-way structure as well as it doesn't go with uh, with an impulsive move there is no uh, there is no extended way for the whole impulsive move however we do have uh, two impulsive waves but one would be from here to here in the form of one two three four and five so this would be the first impulsive move so this to be one two, three, four, and a fifth wave to the upside. Principle of alternation being respected, um, everything being respected on this impulsive move. So this would be wave A, but over lower degree, with A over lower degree. And from this moment on, we have a B wave to the downside, but this B wave to the downside goes all the way to here. So A, B, C, this would be the B wave. Now if this is the B wave, it means that the uh, rising wedge started from this moment of time. In the rising wedge, or this kind of rising wedge, we have only, um, we have only corrective waves, and that is being labeled with numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but still with uh, corrective Way. So the market advances with corrective moves. So therefore, this one should be like this, labeled a C wave. And the C wave has a five-way structure. Well, the five-way structure now goes in the form of a rising wedge, like mentioned, with this to be the one and three trend line that has just been pierced in this hour. So this to be the one and three trend line. And of course, this should be the two to four trend line, two to four trend line. Now, it means that from this moment of time, this would be one, two, three, four, five. It follows all the rules of an impulsive move in the sense that we still need to have a, um, an extended wave. In this case, the first wave is the extended wave. We still have to have the two to four trend line to be broken. Uh, before taking anything else, but or before trading anything else, but we also have uh, the rules of the impulsive move saying that the fifth wave cannot be shorter, uh, cannot be longer, sorry, than the third wave. That makes the case that this is a nice entry for a put options for the downside, and the expiration date should be, I would say, end of week. It may go uh, also for the end of day. But it is a bit of uh, it is a bit difficult as it might still struggle as you can see the third wave has been length so it might still struggle to the upside towards the one zero two so the, the end of day is tricky but end of week expiration date should find price trying to the downside and in the end price should go and challenge the below parity again so um, what I'm trying to say is that after this correction is done here. Uh, the C wave to the downside should follow, so this to be the A and the B, and the C wave to the downside to follow. And after the C wave being done here, um, normally uh, we should only look to the upside, but there are almost 200 pips to travel in a five wave 
structure. Now, if you are trading the regular spot market, then that would be a nice place to go uh, to go short and this to be the target. But we are trading binary options, and for binary options, we need to let the time pass. In. And this is why challenging here um, the downside with end of week expiration date. Then I would buy, of course, put options when the 2 to 4 trend line is broken, still with end of week expiration date. So let's write on the screen then that buying put options with end of week expiration date for the Australian dollar and Canadian dollar and also would like for more aggressive traders to add one more short if you want or one more put options by the time the 2 to 4 trend line is broken still with end of week expiration date have a great day and uh, let's see if our option here expires in the money or not bye bye